that why do you think hypertension is so important and especially for Pakistan? 40 to 50% of population is suffering from this disease. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Vajiha Javed. I head public health and research at Gets Pharma and I welcome you all to Public Health Line Season 3. Today we have with us Professor uh, Fawad Farooq. Uh, so Professor Fawad, you uh, tell me that why do you think hypertension is so important and especially for Pakistan? Hypertension is important because it's a very common illness among almost like after 40 years, rough data suggests that almost like 40 to 50 percent of population is suffering from this disease. Oh my God, that's like so everyone in two. Of after 40 years, and that's a rough estimate. Actual figure, we don't know exact data. So that means a very common illness. And on top of that, nobody is worried about it. Why? because it doesn't cause symptoms. So these two things are very important. Usually you go to doctor if you have pain, if something is bothering to you. But this is a kind of disease which doesn't bother you. It can only be diagnosed by checking. It doesn't cause any symptom. People have misconception about it. We do have some backache or neck pains, that means we have blood pressure. Otherwise, we are healthy enough. Most of the time, we pick patients with complications. And they may be having this disease for years, Before which it is manifests. undiagnosed. So this is the biggest problem, that it's silent, it doesn't cause symptom, it's very common, and above all, it causes a very serious complications affect almost every body part meaning by from head to toe like stroke and stroke means disability for life so you're having a disease which can be controlled and this stroke can be prevented if it's timely diagnosed and you're on treatment and controlling your blood pressure but since we are really not serious about this disease at every level. So we do commonly face complications, heart attacks, strokes, kidney failures, disease of peripheral vasculature. So all complications and they are very common at early ages because of that reason that we are not diagnosing hypertension and we are not controlling it properly. That's why it's very important. Uh, so, Professor Farooq, I'm going to take a step back and ask you something because I think we'll have a lot of lay audiences with us. What is the difference between blood pressure and hypertension? Well, that everyone has to understand. That blood pressure is something which you need for your life. It's a pressure which hearts generate by contracting. And this contraction leads to the blood propagation into the blood vessels. So these vessels keep on changing their diameter in a way that they keep on relaxing and contracting according to body situation. So this combination of contraction of the heart and vasculature contraction that builds a pressure which is needed to propagate this blood from heart to periphery. Meaning where every cell, if, we, if my finger is on the distant, it needs blood circulation for everything, for nutrients, for oxygen, for everything. But what happens when this pressure exceeds beyond a certain limit? And this limit is constantly changing. If you look back, 100 years back, people thought of blood pressure as just a compensatory response which increases and decreases according to external and internal situations or variabilities. But after a few years, people came to know those who are having constant high blood pressure, they are more prone to develop certain kind of diseases. Whenever this pressure increases from certain limit, it leads to complication. So we label according to that limit, that if my pressure, like 
for commonly for a layman we used to say systolic blood pressure upar wala bp and diastolic niche wala bp so there is a cer certain rim limit for that normal is you should have less than 120 and less than 80 that's the ideal blood pressure but not less than certainly 100 because then you are tipping down into hypotension, hypotension. keep a balance between that limits so upper blood pressure systolic blood pressure ya upar wala blood pressure 100 aur 120 ke darmiyan hona chahiye that is normal and similarly your lower blood pressure or diastolic blood pressure should be around 70 to 80 that's the idea that's right but once you start having increased bp from like 120 to 130 similarly your diastolic pressure increasing from 80 to 85 or even 90 that means you are entering into hypertension and some of the classifications even say it pre hypertension or stage 1 hypertension some do say it optimum normal optimum so there are different classifications for that but rough is that less than 120 less than 80 is normal 120 to 130 you are entering into sphere of hypertension and once you are above 130 similarly your diastolic blood pressure or lower blood pressure is above 90 you are entering into hypertension so if we conclude this question what is blood pressure and what is hypertension that if your blood pressure is really remaining under certain limits that's a normal blood pressure you need for your life but it's exceeding beyond that limit and it's constantly on that increased readings then you are hypertensive you need to do something and there are steps for management of how to take care of that high blood pressure now it brings me to my next question now blood pressure as you said is a normal mechanism of the body and a normal response to different situations now in certain situations our blood pressure can rise physiologically also for those of you who do not understand what is physiologically it means that under normal circumstances this is the no body's normal response for instance if we are angry our blood pressure would increase but what if i am angry right now would that label me a hypertensive so uh, would you that's a very very important and pertinent questions because most of the time in our situations people check blood pressure whenever they have something additional like they have headaches they are angry and they are feeling unwell they check blood pressure that's not a right time to check blood pressure for sake of diagnosing hypertension because your body has this response that whenever you are angry what happens your start your heart start beating fast with more contraction your blood vessels going to constrict during that period because of internal changes in the hormones and that lead to transient increase in blood pressure so this transient increase blood pressure is normal physiology physiological response of the body uh, again building on to what you said so how do we diagnose hypertension that is 100 million dollar question in a way it's very difficult that's right that once let's see if you have checked someone's blood pressure during headache or during an angry behavior and his blood pressure is high now as we already have discussed it's not hypertension now how to diagnose it that means we need multiple readings of a situation which is close to normal and it's not just one two sometimes people say is that if a, if a patient is a low risk so you 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 need to monitor for even 4 to 6 weeks because you can have transient variability in blood pressures clearly apparent but they are there in his mind in the background yes background oh. so you need to validate because diagnosing hypertension means lifelong treatment so again it brings me to my next question you mentioned home blood pressure and the world at least the lower middle income countries in me kaha hi ye ja raha hai that home blood pressure is now the key it is turning into a gold standard So sir can you explain it to us what is the standard measurement ka tarika of home blood pressure It's a do big sub- subah <laughs> do sham wo kya hai timings hain kaise hain It's not hai? exactly okay. ideally various timings okay. and it differs from person to person kuch logon ki subah hi 12 baje hoti hai ab kya kar lenge to is pe aap koi ek label lagana standard zaroor hai lekin bada mushkil hai ek label lagana 
मेरे लिए अच्छी रीडिंग क्योंकि आप इनडायरेक्टली विद ट्वेंटी फोर आवर वट यू वॉन्ट टू नो एवरी आवर वट्स हैपनिंग विद द ब्लड प्रेशर सो आइडली आई वुड लाइक इट्स इस इफ सम वन इज़ ऑन ट्रीटमेंट देन इट्स डिफरेंट स्ट्रेटेजी हाउ टू चेक फॉर डायग्नोजिंग आई वुड लाइक टू हैव लाइक इफ आई वॉन्ट अ वन वीक रीडिंग और अ टेन डेज रीडिंग और अ मंथ रीडिंग आई वुड लाइक टू हैड चेंजिंग आवरली रीडिंग लाइक इन वन डे यू आर जस्ट आफ्टर वेकिंग फ्रॉम स्लीप दैन वन गोइंग टू स्लीप इन बिटवीन प्री लंच आफ्टर लंच डिनर्स आफ्टर योर फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज इवन आफ्टर लाइक टेन थर्टी वन सो डिफरेंट टाइमिंग्स ऑफ द डे यू हैव रियली मॉनिटर्ड अकॉर्डिंगली and then i would like to know what's happening all over the day in this rough representation of different timings of the day for diagnosing tick sahi so a home based but ideal way of checking is also very important patient position your instrument where to tie that cuff how tight it should be what's your arm position and these are all available on videos even if you can see on my youtube channel for that ki sahi se blood pressure lene ka tarika even with digital it's not easy ki aapne bas band liya kisi bhi position mein hath pada hua hai bp jo aa gaya wo theek hoga nahi hath mera yun hai to kuch aur bp aayega aur yahi supported relax at the level of heart ye blood pressure kuch aur aayega and if i am sitting like this i my blood pressure reading may be different from that but if i got it by a supported position back supported uncrossed leg that can have an impact on blood pressure as well if i'm not wrong your feet need to be touching the ground and yeah. slightly apart and they should be your uncrossed uncrossed feet and yeah your back should, mm-hmm. back should be supported back should be supported and your arm, arm should, be should be at the level of heart your heart and, and it should be out. supported thick and it shouldn't be contracting like this and you should be relaxed enough prior to that you shouldn't have taken any tea coffee cigarette or anything uh, at least half hour before so these all are pre recommend uh, requisites for a right exact blood pressure close to your normal situation sir koi cut off point hai jo general audience ko aap dena chahiye 180 chahi. se agar upar wala blood pressure 180 se agar upar wala aapka jaye aur niche ka 120 se above ja raha hai aur ye aapne ek reading li uske baad koshish ye kare ki dekhe agar wo wale features nahi hain जो हमने डिस्कस किया है इमरजेंसी के कि विद योर रेज ब्लड प्रेशर यू डोंट हैव चेस्ट पेन यू डोंट हैव एनी फीचर्स ऑफ स्ट्रोक यू डोंट हैव एस शॉर्टनेस ऑफ ब्रेथ और एनी अदर जस्ट टेक एन अदर रीडिंग आफ्टर फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी मिनट ठीक है एंड समटाइम्स वंस यू आर आउट ऑफ दैट सिचुएशन लाइक हेड एक और एनी अनवेल इट यूजली कम्स बिलो द लिमिट्स विच आर क्रिटिकल लाइक उसके बाद अगली रीडिंग आपकी वहाँ एक सौ साठ आ गई अगली रीडिंग डायस्टोलिक नीचे वाली एक सौ दस आ गई दैट मीन्स यू कैन जस्ट ऑब्जर्व फॉर नेक्स्ट वन टू आवर्स बट इट्स फ्लक्चुएटिंग के बढ़ावा ही रह रहा है ये मुस्तकिल एक घंटे से वो एक सौ अस्सी और एक सौ बीस नाउ यू नीड कंसल्टेशन टूडे नॉट एन अर्जेंसी कि अभी फ़ौर भागना है जाना है लेकिन डॉक्टर को दिखाना है लेकिन वेट फॉर दोज सिम्टम्स इफ दे आर देयर then you need emergency sir thank you so much for being here with us today uh ye project uh, humne ek aur bhi start kiya hai preach ke naam se prevention management and control of hypertension jisme pakistan ki taqreeban uh, aur baad mein ja ke deegar mamalik ke bhi we want to talk to our general public and our lay people ke blood pressure kya hai kyun hai kaise hai kis tarah usko control kiya ja sakta hai so इस प्रोजेक्ट के सिलसिले में क्या आप हमें कोई स्पेसिफिक मैसेज देना चाहें ब्लड प्रेशर इतना कॉमन मसला है कि ये आपका बड़ा अच्छा इनिशिएटिव इस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से कि आपने फोकस कर दिया कि भई हमें इन चीज़ों पर ब्लड प्रेशर के हवाले से एक तो अवेयरनेस फैलानी है फिर इसको बचाना है लोगों को इससे और फिर इसकी मुनासिब तरीके से तशीस करके फिर ट्रीटमेंट करनी है और यकीन मानिए अगर ये चीज़ें कर ली जाए तो हम ये जो बड़ी बड़ी पेचीदियाँ डील कर रहे हैं ना हार्ट अटैक्स फालेज गुर्दों की ख़राबी ये तो ये इंतहाई सस्ता नुस्खा है अवेयरनेस प्रॉपर प्रिवेंशन एंड मैनेजमेंट के कंट्रोल रहे तो ये तो बहुत ही ज़बरदस्त इनिशिएटिव है अल्लाह करे कि ये फैले और इस पर मल्टीपल अंदाज से 
एफर्ट करने की जरूरत है थैंक यू सर फॉर बींगेयर विद एंड थैंक यू आर ऑडियंसेज फॉर लिस्टिंग इन